get back and do the four bulkhead three-point tools, and then we can pick up in a, a week or two, we can pick up the torque multiplier yeah. stuff. So we're, we're going to uh, patch it in and out, but we can get to the RTG line, cut, and we can go cut these topside now to give you a 1G on it, and then when you get in there, you can sort of feel how the tools going to work. Okay. And then if for flight, if this stuff wouldn't work, then we go to the, the back of the Okay, uh, let's grab the, uh, so we're going to go through the normal flow, we'll, do, uh, we'll have uh, Don read you the airlock, get out of the airlock, get your uh, mini workstations on, would, at that time would you rather do the three point tools? We want to do, them, we want to do those things last. Okay, we'll, we'll go through the uh, IUS jettison procedures, we'll do everything on the procedure except the torque multiplier. So that will get you through the uh, cooling dampers, the centering springs. And I think this time you wanted to try to, to shear that powder pin instead yeah. of pulling it out. So you can try that. And you both have uh, two centering springs to do and one cooling damper each to do. Or you can work in a crew, uh, as a crew, you know, one we person have, hold one wrench. We still and have another. the same uh, uh, well, needle nose uh, okay, so Yeah. So we can't still, we cannot pull that pin out. No. So you could. Uh, no, Wayne, all we need is, oh, really all we need is a, mm -hmm. a sharper set of needle rows. Oh, those condits in the IFM kit. Yeah, we could sharpen yeah. these things, then we could they, get it they inside don't really the get hole. This is just something that's uh, particular to the EVA crew. But they do send three on each flight. One is a backup in case they have problems with one of the others. EV2 LTA disconnect locked. 
paraphrase it. Down comp carriers, position pin mic. EV2, comp carriers down, mic booms are position. Good afternoon, Ellen and Franklin. This is Bill Marie, and how do you hear me? Out and clear, Franklin. Let's get caught up on my two. Thank you. EV1, EV2, gloves are down and locked. EV2, gloves are down and locked. All right, let's check the following hardware. Air inlet fitting installed and locked to it. <laughs> EV1, two air inlet fittings installed and locked. Wrist rings in locked position. EV1, wrist rings in locked position. EV2, wrist rings in locked position. Body seal closure in locked position. EV1, body seal closure is in locked position. EV2, body seal closure in locked position. All right, we'll do this one at a time. On EV1, reduce airflow. EV1. Airflow is reduced on EV1. Down helmet EV1. Catch, catch weights. EV2 helmet down and locked. Increase airflow to 7 SCFM on EV2. Yeah. All right, on EV1, let's go ahead and pursue final pressure adjustments at the Delta P to 3.5. Here you are, Warren, on EV-1. All right, safety divers, check the suit for integrity. Can you hear me, safety divers? Okay, I'm on backup now, safety divers. Can you hear me? How about you, Alan? Loud and clear. Franklin? Loud and clear. Thank you. All right, how the bubbles look, suit techs? Easy one to go. EV2, go. All right, safety divers, release shoulder strap. Release backpack from downing station. Safety divers, take the subjects down for final ballasting in heads up position. And EV2 would like to be weighed out in the horizontal. Uh, uh, would you come back, Alan? What'd you say? Like to be weighed out horizontally. Okay. You ready to come out and take a look? I'm ready. Thermal covered open. Okay. And you're clear to egress, Franklin. Great. And the sunshine comes in. Okay, when you're clear enough there, Franklin, that you can get to the tether reels. See, uh, that's it. That's correct. This is the correct roll. Right? Yes. Okay. Then we're going to put the right waist tethers on the tether reels. So you want me to be at the top front? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will try and be there. And Dale Gardner did real well, you know, with Joe. You sort of just move them around. If you hang on, friends, then I'm going to grab off to the back of your bliss here. Okay. I think uh, one important thing is that you, you get uh, the appropriate pedal within reach so that you can throw all the switches on your side. Well, I think the point is that you're going to throw the switches and I'm going to... I'll go get the... Uh, 
the tools out of the airlock. Okay. If that's okay. Sure. You know, we can get your mini workstation secured there, Alan. There's a couple, three more things we've got to get out of that tool, out of that PSA. Okay. Stand by. I'll have it done in a sec. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to you, Ellen, for a sec, okay? Yeah, th actually, that would be good, Franklin. Then I can, because I'm not tethered down here. You're not? Uh-uh. Oh, dear. Except uh, my tools are falling out of my tool caddy. <laughs> It's a 1G problem. Uh, yeah, I know, but it's something I need to watch here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. You really get a good view of where you're going, you know? Yeah, this is the way to do it. Besides, it looks great in the movies, too. <laughs> I always bump my head otherwise because I can't ever see where I'm going. Macaulay's got the IMAX camera up in the other window. This is going to look great on the 40 by 80 foot screen. Yeah, just stick it on there somewhere. Wanna okay. I'm going to borrow this guy. told that uh, if you do about a 90 degree turn, which that looks like about what you're doing on that thing, it takes somewhere between 35 and 40 of those to uh, to get it all the way up to 29. Okay. And we got a camera on the protractor. It looks like it's moving nice and smooth. Good work. See what it looks like. Yeah, one more. Perfect. It's right on the line. Is that okay, it? Hold, yeah, hold it. Okay. What's the plan after that? And we're going to send you around uh, back up the port side there to cut the the umbilical release lanyards. And Franklin will stay there to crank it up after you've got the lanyard cut. Okay. How about taking this wrench, Franklin? Yep. So I'm going to go around the other way and go down underneath. That's correct. Okay. Let's see if I can get there without breaking the camera. And now we do carry the uh, 530 seconds. Uh, Allen driver is a backup tool in case we cannot cut that. We, uh, we can unbolt that from the Ford ASC. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard to cut. Okay. You don't want to get real close to the end of it just because the, cen the center of that rod is going to have a plug in it. So get about six to ten inches back on it. It's not important that we cut it right at the very end. Okay, it's, I think it's cut. Um, now all I have to do is get it, get it off. There we go. Franklin, you just passed the diamonds on the protractor, which uh, Shannon reminds me is where the minimum safe deploy is. Okay. McCauley's got all the targeting in, so he's joined me here to watch you out the window. Says you're doing a great job. Great. I'm not missing anything. We're out over the, uh, you know, we're almost over, coming over Africa, so you might see some lightning. We're still over the Atlantic Ocean. Probably one or two more turns, Frank, I'll let you know. Okay. That's good right there. Go ahead and lock it back in, please. Okay. And put the pit pin in and then, and then remove the wrench. 